This coronavirus seems to have shaken up life as we know it. Inevitably, it's going to continue to spread. But how far and fast that's going to happen and what we're going to do about it are still in question. So could artificial intelligence play a vital part in providing some answers and maybe even improving the outcome? AI had an important role in the initial understanding of this outbreak. Canadian specialist Blue Dot deals with global epidemic intelligence and identified very early on that something was amiss through a combination of medical and airline data. We were one of the first groups in the world that identified this outbreak. Um, this was back actually uh, on New Year's Eve day, the morning of December 31st. Uh, the machine learning algorithms that we've developed had picked up information in Chinese uh, of a pneumonia, wasn't known to be a coronavirus, of unknown cause uh, centered around this uh, market in Wuhan. When it was presented to our team, we recognized that there were parallels to the SARS outbreak uh, 17 years earlier. So we knew immediately that there were some historic parallels here and that this outbreak really warranted our attention. And this is where the human scientists were needed. AI can alert, but can't yet do the investigation to say what's really occurring. Detecting an outbreak is really just the first step. There are multiple other things that need to happen. Ultimately, we need to determine what kinds of risks does this pose? Um, is it likely to spread? If it's going to spread, where might it go? What kind of consequences might occur from, from that spread? And then ultimately, we have to get that information into the hands of people who can then be empowered with that information to take the appropriate actions. It's not just about tracking, though. The dream is that one day AI might be able to conjure up necessary vaccines on the spot or repurpose drugs to deal with new challenges. The latter being something benevolent AI in London is already leading the way on. This company uses AI to better understand the mechanism of disease, correlating data on illnesses, drugs and outcomes, and providing more information than any human being could ever come up with. And in this case, a potential lead. What are we looking at here? This is a demonstration of our algorithm processing documents in real time, reading the abstracts of scientific publications to do with coronavirus and extracting relationships between key biological concepts that we really care about to carry out drug discovery. And at this point, we're just a few months into an outbreak that could really, really grow. How meaningful do you think this data is so far? There's a huge, huge amount of information being published um, we're not just pulling out coronavirus information, but we're merging it with a lot of existing publications on underlying biology. Our algorithms reason over biology at multiple layers, from the nano world of proteins interacting on our cells, through this maze of biological processes, up to uh, human-defined definitions of diseases. It's very early days for the process, but it is suggesting what might be worth further investigation. Now, a lot of people were looking at virals, antivirals, and how they might potentially you know, treat the disease. We looked at it from a completely different way. We said, what are the other types of approved drugs that might inhibit the progression of that disease in the body? So we surfaced a number of drugs, and then we did some experimentation based on that and um, further research. And then we came up with this one drug that we think is best suited. It has both um, anti-inflammatory properties as well as the ability to stop what's called endocytosis, which is what enables the virus to enter the lungs, which is the most you know, potentially dangerous outcome of the uh, coronavirus. The company stresses this is only conjecture. And although the drug in question is approved for use in rheumatoid arthritis, clinical trials and full scientific evidence would be needed before it could even come close to being used for this purpose. What we're trying to do is use this technology in the service of science to further the development of novel treatments for diseases that currently have no treatment. Like right now in the world, there's over 9,000 diseases that have no treatment. Well, AI will play a greater role than it has already because 
What's being done is genetic sequences are being taken. That is the understanding of the, the organism itself. And this is put into databases that then can determine where a virus came from, where it might be going in the future. Of course AI hasn't solved the COVID-19 crisis, but it has hopefully helped to some extent and should be learning from it to be even more helpful in any future disease outbreaks.